Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Computing Series. In this video, we will be learning about the next important question of module 2. That is, describe the structure and mechanisms of a virtualization tools like a VMware Zen and KVM. This diagram explains how Zen virtualization works. It's like a managing a multiple computers inside of one system. And at the bottom, we have the real hardware like a CPU, memory and storage. About that, Zen hypervisor, the software that controls everything. It decides who uses the hardware and when. On top of that, we have three types of domains. Yes, see domain zero. This is a special, it controls the system and manages input output. Think of it like a admin of the house. Then guest domains. See, these are a normal virtual machines like a Zeno Linux or a Zeno Windows where the users run their applications just like on a regular operating system. So basically Zen creates a separate rooms or a domains inside of one building that is your computer. Each running a different operating systems safely and independently. Zen architecture. See, Zen is an open source hypervisor and it was created by Cambridge University. Zen does not have a built in device drivers. Instead, it lets the guest operating systems talk to the physical hardware directly with the help from domain zero. This design makes the Zen lightweight and efficient. It's a small in size but fast in performance. See, Zen sits between the hardware and the OS. It acts like a middleman managing how multiple virtual machines use the same physical machine. Then next is core components of Zen system. See, Zen hypervisor is the brain of the system. It manages how the CPU, memory and system interrupts are shared between virtual machines. Domain 0 is the first operating system that starts when the machine boots. It usually runs Linux and has a full access to the physical hardware. Yes, Domain 0 handles device management, resource allocation and controls all the virtual machines. Then domain U. This refers to unprivileged guest operating systems. They run inside a Zen but can't access a hardware directly. They depend on domain zero for that. The next is benefits of Zen. See, Zen lets you create, copy, and move virtual machines just like a files. You can even roll back to a previous VM state, like undoing mistakes. Then it offers the flexibility and easy management, perfect for a cloud environments and a testing labs. The next is kernel based virtual machine. See, it is a virtualization system built into a Linux. That is, you don't need extra software, Linux itself supports it. Then See, KVM works on a Linux kernel version 2.6.20 and above. So, if your Linux is up to date, KVM is already there. Memory and CPU management is done by the Linux kernel itself. And KVM only focuses on a virtualization that makes it lightweight and simple compared to full hypervisors. See, KVM is a hardware assisted para virtualization tool. It uses your processor's built in features to boost performance. Then, KVM can run any standard operating system without changes. Yes, for example, Windows, Linux, Solaris, and other Unix systems. Then, it uses a hardware features like a Intel VT or a AMD V to improve speed and efficiency. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights on cloud computing and also check out our playlist for more in-depth topics. See you in the next video.